Have you ever experienced a time when you were looking for your cell phone or car key in your house and you could not find it? But you know you just placed it in that particular area of your house. Eventually, you see it in a place you never thought you would put it. Then, you wonder, how did that happen? One day, a friend of mine and I went to a grocery store. I headed to the food section, and she went to the clothing area. I checked my list and started to get the items into the cart. But there was one item that I could not find. I was looking for a specific brand of peanut butter. Then I walked back and forth to the food section, but I still did not find it. Then, when I saw my friend, I told her, I could not find the brand of peanut butter I was looking for. And then she walked with me. When we went to the other side of the food section, the peanut butter that I was trying to find was there. There were a bunch of them in that area that could quickly notice. But I passed in that space many times, but I did not see the peanut butter. I wondered how that happened. In our gospel today, the disciples were terrified when they saw Jesus walking on water. They thought it was a ghost. They did not recognize him even when he spoke these words. Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Every day the disciples were with Jesus. They conversed with Jesus daily, but still they failed to acknowledge him. As Peter said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. I wonder how they were not able to identify the voice of the Lord who was with them every day. The disciples did not recognize the voice of the Lord because their hearts and minds were covered with fear. Their attention was not to identify Jesus because their focus was on their surroundings, the darkness of the night, the strong wind, and the image of a ghost. Those distractions made the disciples not to feel and see the presence of our Lord Jesus. I realized I had a similar experience as the disciples. The reason why I did not see the peanut butter, although a bunch of them were displayed, because every time I go to, on that side, my attention focus on the other goods surrounding the peanut butter. I was distracted by other food products. Whenever there are things preoccupying us, we lose our focus. Sometimes we misplace our belongings like our car keys or cell phones because at that time we put them in a particular place. Our focus is not there. It is like when we pay more attention to what the worries or challenges in the world can cause us than to what the Lord can do for us. These worries and difficulties keep on multiplying to suffocate us until we faint. And our hope in Jesus fades. Like Peter, he started to sink when he paid more attention to the strong wind than to the presence of our Lord Jesus. However, even if our hearts and minds cluttered with anxieties and fear, Jesus never gives up on us. 
just call upon His name. And He is ready to pull us from the pit of anxiousness. When Peter began to sing, he cried out, Lord, save me! And at once, Jesus stretched out His hand to save Peter. When Jesus reached out Peter, he reached out his hand to Peter, he did not blame Peter for his little faith. He asked him, why did you doubt? That's how Jesus loves his disciples. Instead of blaming, he encourages his disciples always to see his love for them. Jesus also loves us the way he loves his disciples. He encourages us to call upon him and always perceive and feel his love for us. Just like Peter did when he was sinking, he called upon Jesus. Let us always remember that Jesus, our Lord, is constantly there for us to walk with us and help us to get through the storms of life. Let us also keep in mind that everything in this world, especially the calamities in life, has no power over Jesus. Our Lord Jesus is just a prayer away. Even in very silent prayer or whisper of his name, he indeed hears us, and He is always waiting for us to call upon Him. If prayer becomes part of our life, we will never lose our focus on Jesus. Even if we are surrounded by all the worries and problems in life. Through prayer, we are always connected to our Lord Jesus Christ who loves and gives us the power to walk and continue our purpose in life. For when we are connected to Jesus, no earthquake can shake us. When we are connected to Jesus, no fire can consume our dreams. And when we are connected to Jesus, no disasters in life that we cannot overcome because Jesus, our Lord, loves us so much. <laughs>